The Canucks have signed goalie Ryan Miller to a three-year, $18 million deal. Kerry Chow joined by ESPN.com NHL writer Scott Burnside. Scott, what do you make of this deal? Well, uh, never a goaltending uh, or shortage of goaltending drama in Vancouver, is there? Of course, you know, over the past year, they have traded away upcoming goaltender Corey Schneider to New Jersey and then finally traded disgruntled netminder Roberto Luongo back to the Florida Panthers at the trade deadline, uh, leaving them with a fairly significant goaltending vacuum. And, you know, uh, Ryan Miller's had his own ups and downs. Uh, the former Vezina Trophy winner was acquired by St. Louis at the trade deadline from Buffalo. Uh, the feeling was he might have been the missing link to uh, the Blues' long-awaited cup, Stanley Cup puzzle, Stanley Cup puzzle, and unfortunately it didn't work that way for Ryan Miller or the Blues as they were bounced in the first round by the Chicago Blackhawks in spite of the fact they won the first two games of that uh, series. And Miller didn't play very well, and so... You wondered what would uh, happen to his market value. Uh, in spite of his great resume, he, of course, was the MVP of the 2010 Olympics in Vancouver, oddly enough. Uh, and the Canucks uh, took, a, took a flyer, I suppose, on Ryan Miller, hoping that he still has um, the tools to get them back uh, on the playoff track again. Of course, a period of great transition for the Canucks, uh, uh, firing GM Mike Gillis and head coach John Tortorella in the offseason, and Ryan Kessler faded just before the draft. Uh, so it's a, it is a period of upheaval for the Canucks, but uh, they're counting on Ryan Miller to stabilize things in goal and maybe get them back to the playoffs next year. Yeah, you mentioned Miller struggled in his brief stint with the Blues. Um, are Miller's best days behind him? I mean, that's a, I mean it's a fair question. I, I still think, you know, you go back to last season before the trade, he played for a very, very bad Buffalo team, and, and he was terrific. You know, you look at his numbers. He faced a lot of rubber in Buffalo. I still think he has the goods. Vancouver's a better team, although, again, they're a team in transition. You know, we're not sure what that blue line is going to look like. Last year they struggled mightily uh, to score, and with Ryan Kessler now gone from that lineup, I think this is a Canucks team that is still very much behind the eight ball when it comes to being a playoff team in the Western Conference. But I do think Ryan Miller still has good years in front of him. It's only a three-year deal. Um, you know, it's, a, it's hard to imagine at the start of last season that this is uh, how it might have turned out for uh, a guy with as uh, impressive a resume uh, as Ryan Miller possesses. Um, but uh, certainly he's got his work cut out for him in Vancouver, where, as I mentioned, this is a team very much in transition. Yeah, and how are the Blues going to fill their goaltender gap? Well, you know, the Looks like they have gone a different way. Uh, Jake Allen is a, a, a very promising young netminder, uh, and between he and Brian Elliott, I, I think they feel that you know that that tandem is, is they're going to rely on them. They're a very strong defensive team, uh, and of course they added uh, Paul Stastny to help uh, their depth down the middle uh, in another free agent signing on Tuesday. But, uh, you know, they'll go a different route at least to start next season. You know, who knows whether the uh, trade deadline next year uh, you know, uh, presents itself a different uh, opportunity, depending on how Elliott and Jake Allen play. But right now that would be their situation in goal. And, again, they've had really good regular season goaltending numbers the last few years. It's been the playoffs where they haven't had the goaltending that they've needed. Um, so that's also a story that – uh, may change and, and uh, um, evolve as next season moves along. That's ESPN.com hockey writer Scott Burnside. For all your latest NHL news, be sure to check out ESPN.com's NHL page. For Scott Burnside, I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.